And the one thing is that um, magic, you, you can't really... Well, you can be a jack of all trades. The beetle nest is just at the top of the... Wait. Did you hear that? It's coming from over there. Yeah, where the bandits are? Bandits. <laughs> if only we could get across that stream. I know. Why don't you use your bow? Or some of that lightning the guildmaster taught you? I'll heal you if you get hurt. Yeah, so the, um... Yeah, the main difference is that, uh, magic can be a whole... Dude. They are not activating. They got... Okay, they're awake. Magic can be a lot more useful though, because there's more things you can do with it than just attack, whereas, you know, crossbow, you just attack with it. Come here. There you go, so you don't really need to, um... Aim. Yeah, the one thing, as you can see, is that magic uses uh, your mana points um, up pretty quickly if you're just going to straight attack We with did it. it! Did you see the look on their faces? Yeah. Wait till the guildmaster we... hears about this. We did it, she says. We did it. Who? Jeez. We did it. We. We. Is that now it's synonym for you? You know, you you did it? Mr. Awesome Friend Person? My awesome roommate who did it all alone? We did it? What? We did it. Jeez. Anyway. So yeah, that was fun playing with Whisper. Wee. Okay, so yeah, if you just, uh, I guess uh, the main problem is that, that if some fancy you shit just here? straight up um, attack with magic, it goes... It, it drops down pretty fast. But then again, typically there isn't that well, nice convenient the barrier of the stream the uh, between you and, you know, your enemy, you hit them once with lightning and then they come barreling at you and then you have to take out your sword and hack away. Um, so, in my opinion, uh, the magic is more useful and there are other spells, like one that stops time, or at least slows it down, which is really handy, um, you know, various defense spells, attack boost, that sort of thing. So in my opinion, magic is more useful than guile, unless you're gonna be a straight-up thief or assassin type character. Um, I mean, you can be a jack-of-all-trades, you do gain experience in all three, but at the same time, I kind of uh, prefer to focus a little bit because it just it gives you a little more strength. So I'm gonna be a magic and athletics person. Wait, I think I'm supposed to talk to him! Like I said, easily distracted. Ooh. But yeah, the books, uh, there are like books and stuff here. That we can have. Library. Three haikus by Miko the Bard. Hmm. I don't think I'll read it, but... Items. Wait, where is it? Oh! I think it's actually in, um... The logbook? Yes, books. Three haikus. Terrible beauty. Building scream and agony. Oakville is burning. Thanks for that reminder! Warrior or mage? Choose evil or choose goodness? A beard or mustache? Epic choices? Sword of Albion, sleeping until the true blood flows red on its blade. Okay. Um, sure. But yeah. We're gonna dig through the shelves here. Beds. A globe! Or something. It's not a globe. It's a giant glass ball. Putting into walls. Tale of Max Lee. Yeah, I don't know if I'll use this one. Like I said, I poke around everywhere. Um, so, this is gonna be a little bit of a roundabout let's play. As everyone knows, hobs are stupid creatures. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm not gonna read the whole thing. You can, if you want, you can pause it and read it. There.
Yeah, if I stop and read every book in this game, we will never get to the end. Because there are a lot of books. Wait, I think I missed one. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I poke around a lot, and, you know, side quests, in case you can't tell, like I said, easily distracted. Yeah, we got a couple of the books here. I'm good. But what's in here? Oh, look! More books! In fact, this is a... Oh, yes! I can have a, uh... Superman, uh logo on my chest. That's kind of awesome. But yeah, tattoos are... well, as that's... But yeah, uh, tattoos are another way that gets uh, some interesting reactions out of people. A love story. Here, we'll open it up and... Let's see... Ah! Hero status! I need to remember, that's where the books are. A love story. Yeah, so read it if you want. Okay, done. Good. Um, tattoos, like clothing, are a way of customizing your character. I love games like this that have high customization. Uh, and depending on what tattoos you get, you can be a little scarier or a little bit more attractive. Uh, you know, you can, you can be the- everyone runs away from fear for, because uh, you've got this giant howling uh, creature mask on your face. Or you can be, you know, just have these pretty like henna like tattoos that'll make everyone oh go ooh that's so pretty or both actually you can do <laughs> it's kind of nice yeah getting different reactions are fun all right so yeah we're done the boy mastered the skills quickly but there was always more to learn for years the guild was his home his school and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the Guild Woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. Alrighty. Let's do what he says. So yeah, I think now um, we've got the adult body. It's hard to tell because the space is kind of uh, the same, but... I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test, then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. <gasps> oh, cheap. Ah, a good strike. The uh, powerful attack is right mouse button. Huh. Well done. I don't know if they actually tell you about it. Very, it's very important. good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Because yeah, the uh, the right mouse button attacks when your sword is glowing. Very handy. Um, Come on. Basically, they can break through blocks. Uh, often well they will done. send your opponent sprawling. Just generally, if your sword starts glowing, you want- they're, they're super powerful attacks, they do more damage. If your sword starts glowing, you want to use the right mouse button and, uh, charge it. Super do one of the stronger attacks. Excellent! And finally, cast lightning at me! It's not really defeating you if you don't fight back. Dude, stop moving around. Jeez. That's enough. Yes, quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles 
rather more fatal than this. No, you think? But you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the Guildmaster. Yay, I'm ready to receive the guild seal. Whatever that means. Um, yay? Still in here. Look. It's always only ever one thing in here. Bandits, beetles, or scary uh, glowy tattoo face man. Maze. Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring and strange winds are blowing. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth. Barely hear him over the music for a second there. Yeah, did you see Thunder's mask? Holy it's crap. It's time for you to leave us, lad. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light, and I'll show you how to do this. Alright. Second, just checking something. No, see, look, still hero save. We're like hour and a half into this. Have not had a save point yet. Isn't that insane? Alright. First, you must select the area you wish to advance in. Strength, skill, or will. Alrighty, well... Notice I'm... your experience pools in the lower left portion of the screen. You acquire general experience by collecting experience Dude, orbs. stop talking. And you automatically acquire strength, skill, and will experience by using your abilities in those areas. So, yeah, um, what he said... I think strength is a little more important ah, than other things. Ah, you've chosen strength. You could be a great warrior. You can use your experience from melee combat to improve your physique, health, or toughness. Choose one now. Let's see. So, physique. Force of weapon swing. Um, health. Damage. That I can take. And toughness. Sorry, the... I think my computer's balking a little bit at the, um... Little mini-movies here. Like I said, I'm actually doing this on a laptop! Yeah! Um... Well, we're gonna concentrate right now on damage because... Um... I mean, health, you always have potions and stuff for that. 